get ready for the Jubilee Prayer. Gracious and merciful Father, we give you thanks for these 25 years of grace and blessings you have poured upon our institution. As we enter into this Jubilee year of the institution with praise and thanks, we gratefully remember the relentless service our pioneers have rendered. We beseech you to touch our students' hearts anew with the love of God, enlightening our minds with wisdom and strengthening our hands for service. May our lives overflow in abundance of joy, peace and love, and may we grow ever closer to your divinity. May the fruit we have produced in this life endure, and may the God, Lord, grant us the fullness of his reward of goodness and faithfulness. Guide us and help us to take solemnly our great responsibilities and set before us an example of integrity and justice, faith, courage, duty, self-discipline and fairness that we may foster the peace and goodwill that glorifies you alone. We pray that you uphold our leaders in the light that they may constantly do what is right for your children. We have been uplift, uplifted and sustained by the knowledge that you constantly think upon us with thought of prosperity and a good future. Renew us and strengthen us and cleanse our hearts. Amen. Let's listen a reading from the Holy Bible. Lord, you were favorable to your land. You restored the fortune of people. You forgave the iniquity of your people. You pardoned all their sin. You withdrew all the wrath. You turned from your court anger. Please restore us again, O God of our salvation, and put away your indignation towards us. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your love. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his blessing is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Sing Lord God's blessing on all of us. As God is promising us to give his steadfast love, let us surrender our whole self to him, that we may continue to experience God's indwelling presence. We may follow the path of righteousness. We may become honest that God always Stay with us. Let's pray for our parents, teachers, well wishers, and all our friends that we may all follow the path of righteousness and be honest. In glory in God's blessings, let's begin this day with God's immense grace. May the grace of God be with us all throughout this day. Amen. Get ready for the special prayer. Holy God, Holy God, Holy Holy Potter, Holy Immortal, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us, have mercy on us, and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy God, Holy Holy Potter, Holy Immortal, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us, and on the whole world. Rodenso God, Rodenso God, Rodenso God, A Guardian Angel, A Ditty of Mount Carmel. Good morning, everyone. Thought of the day is if you want to be trusted, be honest. I repeat, if you want to be trusted, be honest. Good morning, everyone. We the students of class 3rd A are here with a special assembly and our topic is impact of more value. Hi, let us talk about the importance of moral values in our land. Students are the future of a country and the future depends upon the moral values in our human being. When we honor the past and embrace the future, then the present becomes a celebration. Well said.
Ahmed Sohan well who refers to the good word used such as honesty, truthfulness, integrity, compassion, helpfulness, love, respectfulness, hard work. So let's understand the more values by us get from class 3rd A. Now I would like to call upon the students of 3rd A to present a value based kit. Topic is honesty is the best policy. Once upon a time there lived a king who has grown very old. The king had three sons. Now he was worried that which of his son would be his successor. So he called his sons and gave each one a seat. I am giving each of you one seat. After six months, I will see that whose plant is the best. The one who will have the most beautiful plant will be the next king. They went back and planted the seeds and took the best care of the seed for six months. After six months, brothers had beautiful plants in the pot with lovely flowers. The youngest brother's pot was plantless. Although he cared for the plant and took the best care, he saw his brothers and was very sad. He was worried that what would he show to his father. After six months, The king called his sons to show the plants. Look father, how beautiful our plants are. Where is your plant? My pot is empty my dear father. I am really sorry. I tried my best to grow the best plant in the pot. No, you should not be sorry. The seed I gave you and your brothers were useless. Your brothers lied to me. The plants they have are from other seeds. When they saw that their plants were not growing, they planted other seeds in their pots. But you were honest and told me the truth and the best quality of a king is that he should be honest. So my dear son, You are the successor of the throne. The moral of this kid is it is better to be honest than to cheat. And that honesty will bring the reward. Thank you. We are fairness. Stay by the rules. Take turn and share. Be open-minded, listen to others and don't blame others. We are honesty, be honest, have the courage to do the right thing, build a good reputation, be loyal, stand back your family and country. We are responsibility, I hold myself accountable, I never make excuses when We are compassionate. You be kind and compassionate. So your care and gratitude for others, forgive others, and help people in need.
gratitude is the highest form of thought. I stand here today to express my heartfelt thanks to all those who participated in this assembly. Above all, on the behalf of class third A, I would like to thank our our dear principal sister Archana who provided us the opportunity for conducting a special assembly. Uh, I would like to thank all the staff members who backstage helped us. Last but not the least, I would like to thank my class teacher, Ms. Monica Lal, who worked hard with the students to bring out this assembly in front of you. Once again, thank you everyone for all your presence. Hope this assembly would help you to be honest and truthful. Thank you. Dear students, I hope the assembly was clear to you. We should be honest. It takes little bit, only little bit courage. Only a courage is needed so that we can say the truth. As the uh, students have performed, I hope it is clear. Now you should promise that you will say the truth and then be honest. It will give a big reward to you from God and from the people around. Okay, so all the best, be good and be honest. Get ready for the get ready for the pledge. India is my country. India is my country. And all Indians are, and all Indians are my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. We are pleased to inform you that on 29th April 2023, UC Mass hosted the 18th UC Mass State Level Abacus and Mental Arithmetic Competition at Indore, in which more than 4,000 students from all around Madhya Pradesh participated. Participants had to complete 200 arithmetic calculation questions in 8 minutes. And we are pleased to inform that we have a winner amongst us. Samarth Vamankar of class 6th D stood 5th. He is the 5th runner-up in grade level 1. Can we give him a big round of applause? for the beautiful prayer service conducted and uh, the message was clear to be honest and all of you need to be honest people and as madam mentioned 
there is no greater legacy than being honest so let this uh, legacy be in your and uh, be your identity and that you be you have the courage to be honest all the time so now i congratulate our student samrat who has been selected and who has poured his caliber to be the great mathematician so now i want one of the teachers to uh, make some calculation or give some questions so that he will make the mental uh, calculation maths teachers can give few questions I think Namrata Madam, you can ask some questions. So thank you so much for being the great mathematician. We all look for you to be a great mathematician still ahead. So God bless you.